everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Brugly channel. I'm Brugly as always, and in this one, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 38, aka the Fold Point. That's right, the Fold Point. This one's actually insane and very, very unstable, to say the least. And I'm also going to be going over Backrooms Level 39, also known as the Enchanted Forest, which is extremely safe and a very relaxing level, pretty much the polar opposite of level 38. So stick around if you like that kind of thing. Thank you for watching the video and let's get right into it. Backrooms level 38 is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, and has an entity infestation. Ah, the best kind of levels. This level is unstable, glitchy, and it's a conglomeration of all Backrooms levels from level 0 to levels 37. Kind of like you took the first 38 levels and crumbled them up together like a piece of paper and you ended up with this level. So 0 to 37 are folded together and are mixed up to form this level, 38. And it's thought that this happens because the levels themselves typically don't have any defined structure. So they're almost like a liquid in space and time with no borders. And that means that this is the point where they all meet and all swirl together. It's kind of like when two oceans meet together, level 38 would be right at that border point. You got that? So this level has some of the properties from those first levels that make it unique. One property it has is that it's got the darkness from level 6, so everything's extremely dark, and it's also got the decay of the walls and structures from level 33. And there are other unique quirks about the level as well, but it all just depends on where you're at. Level 38 as a whole is split up into two different areas so that it can be better understood and mapped and tracked. The first area is called the interior, which is pretty much the term that's used for any of the locations that are inside of buildings on the level. These interior rooms are the most common areas of the level, but no good quality pictures can be taken because every place in the interior has the level 12 effect, which blurs and distorts and causes pictures to be terrible quality, so that's pretty handy, isn't it? The second area is called the exterior, which obviously refers to the outside areas of the level. So if there's like a park level or a forest level, it would be classified as the exterior. And these areas are way more uncommon because there's only a few levels that take place outdoors in the first 38 levels. So the ones that do are a part of the exterior. There actually used to be a base here called BNTG Outpost Merchant, and it was set up right when this level was found with the goal to provide almond water, supplies, food to anyone who came to the level. But now the outpost is abandoned because of how unstable the entire area is and because of the entity attacks. That didn't help either. To enter this crumbled together level, you have a chance just by wandering around any levels from level 0 to 37. You never really know. And to exit, you can wander around the level until it starts to change into a more stable zone, and then you'll be sent to a level depending on if you were in the interior or the exterior. Cool. Level 39, aka the Enchanted Forest. That's a very Disney princessy name, so I hope it's good. This level is a class zero difficulty, and it was discovered in 1988 by an anonymous wanderer. Cool. The level is made up of curvy dirt roads that go through a thick forest, specifically an oak forest. The level actually isn't that big and is only around 190 miles or 300 kilometers in size. It's also in the shape of a circle and not a square. The level has no day or night cycle and it's just stuck at a constant dusk time. The pathways on the level are around 6.6 .6 feet wide or around 2 meters and can be really confusing if you're not paying attention because they randomly curve and curl back and you can lose your place if you're not keeping your eyes open. Like I said, the trees inside the forest are oak trees and they can't be destroyed, broken, removed, moved at all because their roots are physically fused with the ground of this level somehow. They don't just have roots in the ground, they're like intertwined with the core of the level. Nice. The landscape is also pretty hilly and there's random ponds scattered around. 
People who have been here say that the level gives a random feeling of calmness and serenity, and some even say that the level gives them intense nostalgia, even though they've never seen the level or been to a place like this in real life. The only dangerous thing about this level is that it's so comforting and calm that wanderers can get entranced by it and forget to sleep or drink or eat so they might unalive themselves from dehydration or starvation. But all you have to do to avoid that is to drink some almond water and the effects will immediately reverse. On the outskirts of the level, there are these areas called the borders, and they're pretty much really dangerous areas to go in. They have heavy winds and thunderstorms, and sometimes there's even tornadoes, and the temperatures are also way colder in those areas than in the main area. The sky is also darker and cloudier. So pretty much what I'm saying is, don't go to the border of this level. It's lame. The real homies just sit and chill in the woods. There are no bases or outposts here, but it is possible to make one as long as you take into consideration the fact that you're going to have to drink almond water so you don't get entranced. You can enter this level by going into the woods of level 37 and finding the transition into the trees of this level, level 39, and then you keep walking and you'll eventually get here. There are also three other ways to enter, but you have to be past the level to enter it, so here they are. To exit, you can just noclip through a hill to be sent to level 63, or you can noclip through a weird looking oak tree, and if those two don't work, you can use one of the other seven ways it lists to exit. There's nine exits, so, I mean, it's pretty easy to leave. So yeah, this one's just a nice calm forest. I mean, literally, that's the definition, the epitome, if you will, of a safe backrooms level. So yeah, that was Backrooms Level 38. I think it's a pretty cool idea to have levels come together at kind of like a convergent point, and they kind of just start crushing and smashing into each other like tectonic plates from real life. I think it's interesting. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching the video, and thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for all the support over on Toogly. The Backrooms Found Footage analysis video that I uploaded a couple days ago is currently blowing up, and I really appreciate you all for that. Definitely going to be doing more, as well as maybe some stories about some cryptid encounters. I've been really into that stuff my entire life, and I really just want to upload some stuff like that on Toogly, and I think you're going to enjoy it, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much. I love you all, and I appreciate everything you do for me. Hope you're ready for the stuff coming up. Hopefully, you're hyped for that. Check the link below. Check the description box below for any links you might want. Like to my second channel, Toogly. Go check it out. Just uploaded some banger videos on there. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Thank you for everything. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.